Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Hidden Podcast, presented by Cornerstone Entertainment, where your idol stories are written in the stone. And I'm your host, of course, Bailey's Apat, and with us, and I'm other than, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Sager. What's up, guys? So, what are you doing with Michael Sager outside of work? Um, When I have my rest days, Siguro kasi for me, if I'm not on vacation, if I'm not out of town, if I'm not, yung talagang pahinga, oh. ayaw ko yung rest day at na, na, I don't feel comfortable na wala akong schedule at all day. Mm. So, during my rest days, even if it's not work-related, I'll find something that I've wanted to do or like, yung kailangan kong gawin. So, I'll rather run errands or I'll go appoint na sa salon, sa derma or whatever, or pag talagang trip ko, lumabas with friends, maybe watch a movie, ganun. And, and workout. Yun yung priority. Pag rest day, workout day ko yun. Yun yung guarantee mga kapag workout ako. And fully, may energy ako eh. Kasi hindi after work, kundi wake up, workout. So, to, that's my ano, pag rest days. And minsan, yung, ta- yung on the phone lang sa, sa bed. For me, that's already, I miss <laughs> that eh. I miss that. Yung siguro pandemic sa naisa tayo na we wake up late. We're just like in bed all day. So, yeah. When I get those moments, for me, it's like, yeah, I feel lazy, but at the same time, I appreciate it. Because mm-hmm. it, it's, luckily, I can say it, it happens rarely lang. Because, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's getting busy, but, you know, I appreciate the, the chill days. The chill days, so. Because yeah. sometimes, you need those days for you to recharge for the long ones uh-huh. and the tiring ones. Well, especially for me, because I'm, I'm introverted, and, but I can be extroverted. But before I was introverted, talaga, before I entered show business stuff, so. Kailangan ko talaga yung days na wala ko usap. Kasi minsan, I appreciate recharging my social battery and at the same time, parang appreciating my own time mm-hmm. in privacy ko. So, yeah, I just be in my room. So, your phone. Do you, what type of, um, what do you, do you watch movies? Do you watch, uh, do you listen to certain types of music? Mm-hmm. Or TikTok ka lang? Depends on vibes. Minsan, pag gusto ko man na the movies, I'll play something. Or TikTok most of the time. Anong movies yung trip mo? Um, number one, action. Action, action talaga. But, kasi I feel like, mas ano ako sa may, uh, fast, like Fast Furious, Marvel movies, DC, ganun. Really sa ganun. But at the same time, I really like rom-com. Oh, or, uh, along current rom-com, or the last, the last one. I think the last one I watched was Serendipity. Oh, classic. Kasi, mm-hmm. I grew up with an older sister, and she'd always watch that with, or she'd like, play it, and I'd, I'd watch na lang. So for me, it's like, before I didn't understand, the concept of love, the concept of, you know, that's... So now you understand the concept of love. Oh, I mean, as we mature, <laughs> you, you see these films, and especially because uh, as an actor, na appreciate mo din yung acting, yung cinematography, kaya, yeah. Uh, I, but, iba eh, pag rom-com, more realistic, mm-hmm. let's say, yeah. Realistic siya, so, good vibes na. Uh, yeah, some music naman, ano yung taste mo? I can listen to anything. I can listen to anything. That's the thing about me. I can listen to, like, classic music, not classical, but yung mga old OPM, you know, okay. yung mga Apo hiking. Uh, but then I also have my like country music. Oh, like, you must listen to country. Yeah, in Canada, kasi gusto siya. Okay. Gusto siya. So the silent din ako sa culture namin. Oh. EDM, may mga times, you know, <laughs> I get punk, hip hop. I mean, rap music. Oh. In talagang main, but pop music. Sino yung artist na yun? Favorite ko Drake. Drake. Ever since yeah. Drake talaga. Mio. R&B. Yeah. I love R&B. One of my favorite songs is Miss Independent. Oh, As in, yeah. before I was live on sa TikTok, sa Kumu, yun yung first song ko. Narang, yeah. Ano kasi, good vibes yung nangako ko sa song. Oh, no, to. Pa siya, yung beat pala. I watch Neo, bro. Sobrang I really are, sayang. I wanted to go to that. Yeah. Kanda nun, best concert in my whole life. Gusto ko atasa rin. <laughs> For me naman, Bruno Mars. Oh. As my favorite artist, bro, his Lito concert one. was so good. Tatlo kanta lang naabutan ng asaya. So brand traffic sa Philippine arena dito. Yeah. And the daw, it was. Kasi ani non-stop. Kung baga hit song, tapos walang rest. Next song na agad. And then you know it. You know all of his songs. That's a, that's the cool thing about Bruno Mars. Is that. Alaga ng hit. Oh, empty ba empty yung Bruno Mars? Ano favorite album mo ni Drake? Favorite album ko ni Drake. Of, after all these years, because growing up, you know, the music on Drake. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I went with the uh, no, the Scorpion. 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 2016. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because that's the time that I really liked him. I was supposed to go to his concert. 
sa Vancouver, but my parents didn't allow me there. Oh yeah, because he's Canadian yeah. also. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't know him, so they didn't let me go. So, saya. <laughs> Twins, you know, medyo bata ba Yeah, that was sicko mode, gano. Oh, sa akin, nothing was the same. Nothing was the same. Yung kulay mo yung album. Yung tapos yung ulo niya. Oh, yung ulo niya. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, uh, I, uh, since you share about uh, you being an introvert and work just being work and you need to take a step back a lot of the times, um, ano yung routine mo naman? Like, uh, what's, what's your routine like, let's say, on a daily? Honestly, my routine is so bad just because I'm not able to get in, enough sleep a day. Um, because right now, uh, I'll have, let's say, I have taping one day. And then, yeah, taping work. The whole day, siguro yun. And if I can, I'll work out after. That's what I try to push in. Or if I can, I'll go out with friends para ma- okay. balance the social life. And once I get home, late na eh, mga 12. One. But kasi for me, ako yung hindi pag uwi tulog agad. Ako yung chill muna sa kama yeah. uh, and then wait for myself to fall asleep. Then I'll sleep late. I usually sleep late and then I have to wake up early kasi early call. So <laughs> for me, it does back to back. As much as I can, I want to work as much. Uh, and But yung, yung problem lang is you sleep. I feel like that's the hardest thing. But we can't avoid it. I feel like it's given in this industry na Tiis talaga. Oh. Tiis. And in try ko naman siguro for the routine. Every time I'm in the car, I try my best to sleep. That's my, that's my ano. Because, well, we all know it's traffic here, right? So, <laughs> kahit 30 minutes ang malaking tulong na. Oh, oh. Mga two hours, malaking tulong na. So, yun yung ginagawa ko pag ano, ano. Uh, yeah. I forgot to ask, ano naman yung, ano mo, comfort food mo? Comfort food ko? Sushi. Sushi. Even your sushi. Yeah. So, Japanese food. Japanese food, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, pag long day sa taping, tapos, yeah. gotta, or pizza. pizza. Can't go wrong. For me, can't go wrong with pizza. Okay. Like, kahit, medyo umay ka na. Anong, anong klase ng pizza yung? Ako, Hawaiian lover ako eh. Hawaiian? Yeah, pineapple on pizza. Bro, sarap. And there's, Hawaiian? Konti lang mga tao dito eh na may inig sa Hawaiian. So, sabi ko, for me, it's a blessing. Kasi, at least, ang daming natitira. Uh, ako ka. Uh, yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Ikaw din na Hawaiian. Ikaw din Hawaiian. Bro, someone comment, please. I'm not team Hawaiian. Sabi nga ni Chef Gordon Ramsay, Hawaiian uh, pineapples shouldn't be on pizza. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> so, better ahead. Okay. So, uh, your label as one of those preppy guys. Preppy. Yeah. Um, in, in certain occasions, you like to dress up? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, before showbiz, before going to the Philippines, may ilig talaga. If it's for school now, Started with high school. I was like, mm-hmm. may hilig talaga lagi naka-ice yung hair ko. So ko ready yung ano ko. I always have an outfit ready. Ayaw ko mag-re-repeat. Ayaw ko nun. Gusto ko, gusto ko, um, different look every day. Ganun type of vibe. Uh, so for me, it wasn't, it's just my, I just grew up that way. Not grew, really good. Yeah, parang, I don't know. May hilig ko lang. Like, I didn't have to really get ready every day yeah. for school. Oh, yes, me. <laughs> but I just liked it. Yeah. I think factor doon is sa Canada, casual yung wear doon. Oh yeah, wala kami uniform. Walang uniform. Because I went to a public school. So, wala yung uniform. Ganun nga doon. Yeah. Okay, so, to get to really know you more, um, can you can you walk us through your life in Canada? Since you were raised, born in, you were born here, mm-hmm. as you mentioned, pero ano ulit yun? Born here, uh, sa Marinduque po. Marinduque. And then, when I was three years old, I moved to Canada. Okay. Yeah. For how long? And we're in Canada, sorry. You've had Vag River. Yeah. And I, uh, most of my life there, na, 15 years sa ako. Dun kami nakatira. So, I'm 20. When I was 18, I moved here. Okay. So, Back, reckon, yeah. 10, 10 years? Tama ba? 10 years ka doon. 8 15. years old. 15? No? Yeah, 15. 15. So, sa 15 years na yun. So, you studied there till high school. Mm-hmm. Graduated high school after college na, university na. Then, um... My calling, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, random, bro. Random. There was a um, reality TV show search. At the time, it was international. Okay. And my dad kasi did it when he was younger, but he never pushed through. Sabi niya, for me, it was, it was ano lang, parang, why don't you try? Toy, but, but, di ka mag-audition, subukan mo lang. Tingnan natin. Sabi ko, Leo, Leo ko lang, eh. Leo may hiling. Yung paleo mo, Toy? Toy. Ah, uh, I don't know kung common yun sa, ano, pero Toy parang... That's your nickname. Name. No, it's like, okay. parang kid. Ah, okay. Yata na lalaki. Yun yung sana. So, probably sabi siguro, toy. Get some. Yeah, yeah, toy. toy. Yeah, yeah. So, he called me. So, yeah, he told me to audition. Sabi ko at first, no. Sabi ko, why would I do that? Kasi you had no 
um any you have z- you had zero plans for showbiz ah uh, i did at one point i mean for me kasi growing up i was i've always had that dream na i want to be sikat i want to be that actor sinon yeah. ever but um once i got a bit older for me it wasn't hindi na nanawala na sa isip ko masaya naman ako sa sa path ko noon so sabi ko oh i just want to do well sa school i want to be an architect or a pilot mm-hmm. those were my two options Uh, but pandemic hit, so I stopped with architecture because aviation market was down. So sabi ni Papa, baka not a good move right now kasi pag graduate mo, sayang yung expensive right flight school. Oh. Sayang investment mo if, if wala ka naman akong work. So sabi ko, okay, architecture tayo. But randomly nag-audition ako dun sa, sa show and they called back. Eh, is as a family ko kasi yung sister kong nag-audition, nagpo-poor. Ah, sa yung this money. Yes, yeah, sa yung singer. Ako mahihayin. I did not want to do anything. Uh, so, it was so random na ako yung na-call back. Kasi one time I auditioned for Star Magic. Okay. Nung umuwi kami Philippines, uh, go see. Okay. So, result no. How old were you at this? I was like 12. Well, 12 young, well, yeah, as in super young. Family vacation lang. Here, ABS. Mm-hmm. Sabi, ko, sabi ko, let's try. Well, try. Kasi, ang cool. Kasi, my dad is official photographer for concerts there. So, when Star Magic goes to Vancouver, they're there. So, my dad brings me along and I'd always see them and meet them hang out with them so I'm like they're so cool so I was like I said shucks I wish I could be like that one day it's like you know limelight it's nice so we went here to ABS there's a lot of people in the town because it's 2017 pre-pandemic busy siya, yeah. we did the go see after that uh, wala, wala, nothing happened to me but my sister got the call back they offered her um, a hosting position oh a hosting yeah so um, I was like oh Maybe it's not meant for me. Baka hindi lang talaga sa akin. So sabi ko, okay. And then I moved on with life. So parang when I got that call back, sabi ko, this is so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. Kasi, hindi lang gay. Yeah. Ano ba? Parang kabe, you know, makapaniwala. As in, random lang yung audition clip ko. I did it by myself. I didn't tell my parents. I was like, I just did it. Hi, ko lang. Yeah, they told me to do it. But they never forced. But ako kasi, I was so bored. Parang wala nang magawa nun sa bahay. Sabi ko, sige, what? let's try this. Yeah. I'll think of something. Post lang naman eh. So, okay, so I posted. And then, three days later, meron ng text from the, the account. So I was like, oh shit. I was like, this is so cool. Na parang, uh, na, na text. Out. And then, so ano yung in-audition mo? Go see lang siya. Yun yung parang smile. Look, That's for PBB. Right? Yeah, ah, for PBB. Uh, pero hindi natuloy. It's a, it's a long story eh. Parang, siguro PBB was so on a, uh, Munti ka na. Munti ka. Twice. But twice. Yeah, parang siguro, you know, it, it was really a blessing in disguise kasi feeling ko that wouldn't have happened if it was really meant. Mm-hmm. If it was really meant for me, smooth yun eh. Inaniwala ako dun na if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. Yep. And if it if there's obstacles, we learn from it. Wow. And there's a reason why it happened. Yep. Kasi I cried the day na... You cried? Because it's competition eh. It was from audition basis to competition basis. I I was supposed to do the audition but hindi na. Something big lang nagbago. Oh, we didn't know that was big lang nagbago. So, okay. And then competition. It was top two or three. I was top 15. And then I think, na na na, out na sa competition. I lost. So I was like, oh man, I cried. That's halagang na naiyak ako na pa. Invest ka rin kasi. Yeah, but hindi ako umiyak ka dahil hindi ako nakapasok. Umiyak ako dahil sa mga taong nag support sa akin. Kasi it, it was, it was funds out of their pockets just to see a random kid online yeah. go for their dreams, right? This is the second... This is the first. This is the first. the first. Yeah. When you were 12? Oh, no, 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 no. This was, ano na? Fast forward. Yeah, fast forward na. When I graduated high school. I Or, my graduating year, so grade 12. Oh, wait. Yeah, sabi, uh, they, I didn't make it na. So, it was on Kumu. Cried on my live stream. This was 2021. 2020. 2020. Uh, 2020 pa to. Ah, yung time na yun. Yeah. Nag-uhurin ako eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like everyone did more than the pandemic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tapos, yeah. uh, yeah. ano siya sa'yo mo sa sarili mo nun na parang, um, this may not be for me, pero sumuhan ko pa rin, or totally you actually give up? I didn't, up. I didn't, give um, Ano yung mindset ko nun? Oo, oh, ano yung mindset mo? Nasad ako. I mean, everyone would get sad na parang lapit na eh. Mm. Doon na sana. But I just, I just kept going. For me kasi hindi ko naman ginagawa tong, ginagawa yung live stream na yun dahil gusto ko lang sumikat or I did it because I honestly was having fun. 
like the live streaming, the talking to people, it was enjoyable. And I didn't expect it because I'm shy. I'm like, I know. And I didn't know I had that side in me na marunong palokok ni pag-usap kahit Tagalog, kahit oh. ano. Masaya. So sabi ko, honestly, I'm happy I didn't make it because it made me realize why I did it. And it was because I was having fun. And because of that, it made me, I, I knew that I was developing a passion for that, the, the entertainment factor. Na parang, napapas- na, natutuwa sila manood, panoorin ako. So parang, that warms my heart, that makes me, like, it fills me up na parang, I like this. I like doing this. Okay. So after that, my parents talked to me. So we go, we tried. We gave it our all, but hindi hindi natin uh, baga, hindi natin kontrolado. Yeah, hindi na, we won't know talaga. But we 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 tried, and that's what matters. But they said, if you still want to keep going, go for it. And if not, then it's fine. <laughs> uh-huh. So ako, I, I kept going for it. I kept going live. And then I went to the point that talagang full fledged live streamer. I quit my part time job in Canada because which one? I wanted to live. I was a uh, still associate for shoes. Parang Foot Locker dito, but there it's called Champs, sister company siya. Okay. Yeah, so I so I was. So you were selling shoes? Yeah, because at the time high school, we were just needed. I wanted I wanted a car. I wanted a car. So my first job ko ice cream scooper. Summer job ko, the whole summer, work eight hours every day to save up for a car. And then I got a car, then I got, I, 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 it was opening sa mall, nearby mall namin. Sabi ko, apply kaya ako. Uh-huh. Hindi yun, na, ay, may sa shoes. Shoe collector na ako nun eh. So, sabi ko, it's perfect job. I did it, and then yeah, tuloy-tuloy lang. Anong sapatos yung kinokollect? Jordans. Jordans at the point. This wasn't Yeezy's eh. Hindi na umilig sa Yeezy's. Oh, eh. But I like Yeezy's at the point. And then Ultra. Iba pa rin yung value ng George. George does. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, yung na-down ka, ano yung ginawa mo afterwards? I prayed. I prayed. You prayed. Yeah. For me, my faith and my religion is a, a big factor in my life. Um, until now, actually, especially with times when you're down, right? So, I remember, naalala ko pa yun na natalo ako, and kasi yung mga live stream ko, madaling araw sa amin, because of the time difference. So, my schedule was mga 3 to 5 to 7, live. Eh, yeah. Live stream, yeah. And then after that, I go to school. <laughs> oh. My class was until 11, 11 a.m. Bro. Yeah, so... Chigat talaga. That's afternoon, wag ka trabaho ka ba? Yeah. I'd have shifts pa. Or means I'd, I'd let go na. Yeah, sleep na. Oh. Okay, well, I know too long. Bro. Yeah, right. So, but uh, there was one time before going to school, I dropped by our church. I just prayed outside. I said, Lord, thank you for, for this opportunity. Thank you for the blessing. But just guide me. That's all I prayed for. Just guide me. I mean, if this is really meant for me, I believe in you and I, I believe in the power. But, um, I left it all to him. Cause if any isip mo yung lahat, mas stress ka. Eh. And dami ko nang iniisip nun, na parang homework, <laughs> ba? Kotse na gusto mo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So sabi ko lang, chill lang tayo. Oh, it's not. It, we weren't too far in. Uh, too much to think about. No, it's just the start pa lang eh. So if it's if it's a good journey, guide me lang. Yun oh. ang gusto ko. I didn't. I don't like sticking to negativity. Mm-hmm. For me, if it's if it really didn't happen, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Because it's not like, um, it's not like I really. Ah, uh, mindset ko papunte. So sabi ko hindi ko to ginagawa na need na desperate na. I always have a plan B. Na parang just in case we don't. Yeah, what's your fallback? A fallback ko school. Because for me, hobby lang eh. Hobby mm-hmm. lang live streaming, yeah. Architecture, architect ka rin pala dapat ngayon. If it, <laughs> five-year course din yun. Pag yeah. Grand Bog dito. Yun na nga, I, I actually, I listened to myself. Well, I, I don't know if it's cliche, but I listened to myself. I, was, I did an advanced course college. So grade 12 ako, ng mga October, I applied for a college course because I wanted to feel the, the architecture program first. <laughs> because architecture is a long... Long ano. And I wanted to know if so ko ba talaga gawin. That's all right. That's it. I, I did it. And there was one point, ah shit, this is, this is so cool. Masaya making the, ano, kasi mayroon ko sa designs, toy line. 
sa sa screen but then I had to do physical for the yung mga miniature ano so I did that and then parang at one point I was like what am I doing <laughs> because it's the same time in live streaming same time siya pinag sabay ko siya eh. yun yung yun yung schedule ko at the time live stream and that so parang yung puso ko talaga andun sa entertainment but my mind as I ko is stable career yeah 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 architecture right so I ko conflicted oh ang gagawin ko eh. 17 parang nag-iisip na lang ganun parang sabi ko what if we just try the live stream yeah kasi at least you tried both yeah i mean i told myself we gave it all our all for the architecture not like we we gave up just so that we could do this no i really tried Let's see if i like it kaya last year i applied na for university i got my results i got university of Um, can- sa Canada, Canada. Sa, sa Simon Fraser University, SFU, and BCIT. So, yung actually nangyari nun, yung sa UBC, University of British Columbia, um, that was my goal. Kasi it's the top architecture school in the nation. Parang top two siya. So, if I, if I make this, push ka na talaga to, like, 100%. Kasi, 50 students make it in the whole country. 50 lang, that's the acceptance rate. It's so little. So, and it, in- it's all determined by creativity. So, ang result no, I got waitlisted. Ooh. So, medyo na heartbreak ako na sabi ko, shocks. Yun yung plan ko ever since grade 10 eh. Na parang, ito na, ito na yung ano. Sabi ko, it hurt. Oh. Na parang, oh, kala ko makakapasok ako, pero hindi. And so, pero yung isa ko naman, I applied as a backup sa business school. So, it was business. But a backup? I I applied for three schools just in case. Oh, ah, okay, okay. so back up program. Yeah, that's what we do. Eh. That's what we're told to do. So you have to apply to everything, mm. and then just in case. But I got into the the backup. But hindi ko talaga passion business. I mean, I only did business because safe, <laughs> safest and versatile. Because uh-huh. if I had my plans of being a pilot, kailangan mo ng bachelor's degree. So four years yeah. yon, uh, requirement chest. So at least I had four years na mm. of business, which I can also use uh, in aviation and go architecture naman I could use the business skills for architecture so sabi ko ito yung best and easier easier kasi easier yung business eh compared to uh, like doing math uh, yes yeah, so, as happy na and then sabi ko sa parents ko it was a good good ano eh, good option eh, good good route so I told my parents ma you know I'm going uh, I'll go to school if you tell me but just hear me out <laughs> sabi ko Is it okay if I take a gap year and just try and go back to the Philippines to try it out? Because I I was luckily contacted by Cornerstone at the time, August yun, eh, mga May and August. Sabi ko, ano eh, parang iba yung feeling, iba yung there's an a feeling ko there's like an opportunity or a chance, and I wanted to try. So sabi ko, just give me one year, one year, and if if it doesn't work out, I will go back to school because I'm in Rome, man. And sabi niya. But it was the problem was hindi na pandemic sa amin. No masks, no anything. Here it was ECQ. It was so bad. It was so bad. So, so yun yung risk. Yun yung risk ko. But sabi ko, ang risk ko naman, pag hindi na umuwi this year, hindi na makaka-uwi next year. Kasi school na. School na. Hindi na magtatry. So sabi ko, luckily I'm in a position na I can say na if if things don't go wrong, I can just go back to school. Luckily, may ganun ako. It's a Let's, privilege. It's a, a privilege, picture. yes. Kaya, Uh, I was very thankful for that, and I'm very thankful for my parents that they supported me. Yeah, they told me. Because I told them, like, ma, imagine if I don't do this, um, two years that I try, well, any opportunity. What if I'm ugly now? What if I look different? Diba? You know, it's for ugly. You know, it's realistic, right? <laughs> But I just told them that, saying the opportunity na yun, uh, it'll never come again. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Just, just give me a try. Thank God I'm here. So the turning point na yun, mm-hmm. yung transition mo that time was cornerstone. After that Kumu heartbreak of yours, you took a chance and you still did some live streams. Yeah. And then you got contacted by someone from Cornerstone. Yes, Kuya Rex. Wala na siya ngayon sa Cornerstone, pero shout out sa iyo, Kuya Rex. Um, he believed in me kasi siya yung naka-scout sa akin. And because of that, I, I met more people, Sir Erickson, Sir Jeff, um, via online. Online pa to. Prior to going home. So, I actually went home to the Philippines with a manager, but at the same time with no assurance. Uh, like, 
hindi naman sure na magkaka-career. So, then they told me that. Ano yung first ever project mo dito? Kasi, so you took a chance. You packed your bags from Canada. Your parents supported you. You yeah. stay with your family, tita, your relative, yeah. your tita. So, syempre, medyo kabado ka pa yung yeah. story for you. Ano yung um, project na in-offer sa'yo? I did auditions for for PB Violet that time. And then, my first work was a music video with Zef. Zef and he, yeah. So, uh, as a, ah, uh, ano ka dun? Talent. Talent lang, yeah. So, uh, uh, talent lang. I was just running, running, smiling. Kaya oh. magpakita ka na yun. Yung oh. first ever work Parang exposure, ko. kumbaga. Yeah, yeah, sa, sa work. Timing din nun kasi parang they needed a guy. So, sabi ko, Zef asked me. I was like, yeah, sure, in game. Okay. So, for me, I was like, whoa, so cool. First, okay. I was taping eh. So, <laughs> taping. <laughs> Shit pa lang yun eh. This was 2021. One. Ah, uh, no. Two? 2022. Last yeah. year lang. Last year lang, yeah. Wow. My, my, my career started last year lang. Kasi after oh. that, that, that shoot, the following weeks, Zeph and I then had a meeting with GMA, with Mr. M. And that's when I got into Sparkle. Okay. Na parang, they're looking for a group that they want to launch and uh, audition, audition. And na launch ako with that with that group, and then from then, yeah, and then yes. Ano yung audition process nung? Hindi mo sa nai nai mag audition, kasi ang background ko lang sa acting. I was a I was a talent background extra. Kasi ano nanda? Sa ano nanda? Like, talent ako for like Netflix shows. Because the reason why I did that, there was one time in my middle school that it was used as a set, and the principal was like, okay guys, our school is gonna be used for a movie. Who wants to be a part? If yeah. you want to be a part, register here. In a pili ako, and I was like, oh shoot! Like, my, I want to be a part of the movie. Like, that's so cool, eh? So I was like, want to be seen in a movie. And then I did it. And then after that, they kept my file. I kept doing more uh, extras. Like, I'd be a kid walking in the back. You know, so I enjoy ko yung ano yung. I was a part of Disney Descendants as a dancer. Yeah, parang ganon ng set, ganon ng vibes. So I'm one day. Na katabi ko yung mga artista so oh. one thing so kung oh, eh, oh yeah na ako rin sa tayo ng art so ngayon ganon ka narin ngayon sure <laughs> gusto ko natin lakian course ay sa, sa, dream ko talaga to go back to Canada and work there wow. because when you work in Canada it's for Hollywood that's what's my dream I mean as an actor my maybe far ahead but yun yung parang one goal na yun yung impossible dream ko na yun parang Tama, tama. Yeah, it's not, uh, it's free to dream, right? Oh, no, one, makakarap ka lang, ano? Yeah, yeah sabi yun. ko, let's start wherever we are and maybe one day, madala natin ng Philippines to Hollywood. Why not? Yeah. Uh, yun yung, actually, mamaya, yan, may tanong tayo. Yun. I-expound, mag-expound ka dun. So, we talked about, um, you being in Canada. Uh-huh. Um, kasi, dito sa Pinas, uso rin naman yung, ano, uh, may backup programs. So, huwag dito ngayon, You being here, yeah. Wala akong plan B. I do. I'm in school right now. I'm enrolled at Southville. This is full. Oh, okay. For business, same same course. Same, same course, but luckily that school is very um, understanding. Ooh. They, I, I haven't really started much, but they're very supportive of that. It's a part time, full time work. Okay. Part time study. So yeah, I'm enrolled right now. I, I'm still trying to find a balance with um with school and work. Because just for me, I I need to really if I focus my thing on one main thing, it has to be there. Because I don't want to work. I don't want main focus. Ko, and I just do school just for the sake of finishing it. Because mm-hmm. I know I'll do, para half lang. I'll do fifty percent work. Oh, you're and I, I I don't want to because walang mat ma matutunan. I mean, I would learn from that. Kaya talaga when there's days na kaya ko, I will really l- study. But in, hindi ko pa lang natatime yan, siguro. But thankfully, the school is very accommodating. Yeah. Kasi alam ko, like Lasal. I was supposed to go to Lasal at Ineo. So, the school I want to go to. Uh, but, hindi eh. Kasi full-time, full-time yun eh. So, oh. even yung mga friends ko na nasa showbiz, ang hirap daw sa Lasal kasi, can't, <laughs> can't really study up. Or, yeah, it's either you pick one. And I, I, I yeah, that's why. <laughs> oh. At least, very understanding, you find like a, you found the, a partner in terms of education that yeah. support you in your career. Yes, yes. So, yung audition mo na yun before, the turning point, that uh, music video, and then, what was the next role? 
The My persona. Uh, oh, persona. Yeah. Which was? Love is caught in his arms. Yun yung first project ko. First but prior to all that, you had like workshops? Yes, we had... Before, prior to launch, we had six weeks of training. Monday, mga two, twice a week acting. So, so yung time na yan, ito na yun, parang siya sayo mo na sarili mo. This is what I gambled for. Yeah, and I actually got this role. Yeah. But at, at the time kasi hindi nyo nasisip ko because we didn't know. We, uh, we, parang it's a trick, I guess it was a mind trick din na parang wag mo na sabihin para hindi, you know, like, maging compliant. Oh, hindi maging presko. Yeah, like, we were told last minute and I'd always ask me like, I, I, I've been getting told na, ay, kaya na yung sa show na yan. And, like, oh. and I'd ask me like, ay, hindi pa alam, hindi pa sure. Wala pa lang sure. Yeah. Which I like because for me, parang, well, gusto ko yan. Mm. Di, ano ako talagang gusto ko mag-try. Mm. For me, that kept the, the friendly competition going oh. because yeah. obviously, a group of same, or a same age group, it's still a family, but it's also a competition because mm-hmm. we're in business. Right? Yeah, so. it's an industry. Yeah. <laughs> so any, what was your role like there? Did you have a hard time preparing? For me, that was a dream. That's a dream come true. Because I watched it before Meteor Garden because my mom Wait. loved it. So Boys Over Flowers, yung okay. my four guys going for one girl. So uh-huh. Love is a Wattpad story. Similar to a type like that. There was five of us, five brothers or cousins. Going for, not all going for girl, but my character was. Ako yung third wheel dun eh. So parang, yung character ko naman, uh, sport, sporty jock, um, Inglesero daw. So sabi ko, sakto to, sakala. <laughs> and then mahilig ko sa shoes. It was, it was um, a character that I really related to. And it helped a lot because, I mean, first show, first acting experience. May hirap pag malayo sa'yo eh. So, thankful ako na yun yung character ko kasi I got to explore at the same time within my reach muna. Yeah, yeah. So that that was my first. Act. Did you have a hard time trying to internalize for the character, or figure out a way for you to show that character's? Um, I let it come lang naturally, because in the workshops, actually, nung nagbo workshop ako, struggle talaga ako. Yung parang naiyak ako. So sabi ko, baka ang pangit ko wala tni. Kasi ako, di ba yun? But then eventually, I I pushed myself an inch, inch by inch lang to really. Not be shy, because the back of my head, if I don't give it my all here, saying that, saying that, eh. so I said, okay, let's go. And then when we workshop na kami for for the show, um, direct Barry, yung director ko, he was very helpful. He was, he was, be, he'd be like, say, tell me how you would attack this character. And then from then, he would adjust it, talang na give suggestions. So yeah, parang dun ko na alaman kung paano ko dapat. Gawin yung Owen, si Owen yung kanang It was very collaborative. Yeah. And I also did research. I mean, I read the the Wattpad. I read fans' opinion about him. How they see him. They visualize him. Because it's a, an adaptation, right? So people already have an image of him in their yeah. head. Yeah. So, I mean, it's hard to really do adaptations like that. Because my expectation in their head. <laughs> so, so parang for me, I, as much as I can, I'll try my best to give them their Owen. Right. right? So, yeah. So, yeah. And how did that go for you? How would you describe that whole experience? A blessing. A blessing. Yeah. Siguro for me, love is, we taped that May, last year, lock-in kami nun, three, two months. We were supposed to air na agad, then na-delay siya three times. Sabi ko, shocks, na-delay, nang na-delay, nang na-delay. Eh, air pa ba tayo? Oo. Until this year lang, early this year, meri siya January 16. It aired, and my like, my life, I could say changed from there. From the, the yung, turning point. Of- yeah, siguro um next chapter. Ni naman super, sh- but because I'm just starting, I know that I'm a year into showbiz, right? So it was just a cool milestone. Because mm-hmm. first show, and I feel like once you get to your first show, iba na yung environment. Ima ma ma iba. You'll see the things differently. So for me, it was a blessing because I got to see the different. Um, I got to see showbiz differently na. Yeah. yeah. Doon ka na, kumbaga... Na binyagan. Oh, na binyagan. Binyagan. Alina immerse ka na sa mga yeah. business yeah. industry. <laughs> then after that, ano yung mga experiences mo? Biglang... Yun na nga, after Wait, taping... Wait, may picture na sa'yo eh. After taping naman nun, wala ka rin work. Ah, oh, nice. Work. So it was quiet. Yung, di ba, delayed yung, yung airing. But after no airing, 
that's when it was cool because we do mall shows every weekend. Oh, okay. And then you'd, you'd, you'd feel the fans' support for the show, even online. So, dun ako na natuwa na it, it, if anything, it motivated me more and inspired me to keep going. Sabi ko, I can do more, we can do more, and let's give it and uh, more every time. Yeah. Sabi ko, I want to continue. Because I promised myself, actually, before and before the work started, I told myself, if I don't like what I'm doing, owe ako. Mm. As easy as, maramdaman ko lang, naisip ko lang one time na, ayoko na nito. Kasi alam ko yung sarili ko eh, if, if talagang napili, pin, napipilit na ako, ang pangit ng work ko, just because I don't care anymore. That's what I don't ever want to happen with anything. I mean, in showbiz or work, anything naman, talagang I don't want that to happen. But I'm just so happy that despite the tiring days, the tiring nights, the taping, sa ano, I enjoy it. And I'm just really thankful that I be, I mean, God's guiding me because you need patience, you need the the chaga, the oh. perseverance, and it's it's I know, it's all a package. But I say every work, naman is hard. Whether it be showbiz, whether it be labor, construction, it all has its hard. Like yung mahirapan tayo. That no work is easy. Earning money isn't easy, right? So <laughs> sabi ko, at least in this hardship, I'm enjoying it. Oh. Kaya natuwa ako na sabi ko, Lord, thank you. <laughs> thank you sa, sa blessing na to, sa show na to. Uh, and gusto, uh, ano ko lang talaga is every time mag mall show, may, ma, may, ma, may ma, mas, mapasmile lang ako kahit isang tao. Saya ka na. Yeah. May lang. May lang yung, yun yung in-advise sa akin ni Miss Joey Albert. Because before I did YouTube, I had like, ano nga nito, podcast, pero talk show. It's called, Late at night, but not really with Michael Sager. Mm. Yeah, so it was an interview interview, and I got to interview Miss, Miss, Mrs. Passes. You were the host. Yeah. I know. Oh, I like the host. Eh. So, parang sabi niya sa akin, many great advices, but sinabi niya, when, when she goes on stage, her main goal is just to inspire at least one person in that whole venue when she sings. Mm. One person loud. Sabi ko, I had the same mindset. And that mindset helps pala. Kasi nawawala yung, I know, mall shows namin. Minsan, parang tao, right? Yeah. But there's still people. And you can't, I mean, you can't always expect for the best. But if there's days na konti, just take advantage of it. Because there's still people who went there to see you. Eh, pag if you give it your 30%, na sayang naman, kawawa namin yung tao nag-effort na nag-travel pa. So, yun yung, yung, yung mindset ko. Na, kasi nakita ko yung mga kasama ko. We're all like down na eh. But at, even me, man, honestly, you'll feel down. But at the same time, if you look at it at a different perspective, kung baga na ikaw naman yung fan, how would you feel yung inintay mo for six hours? Walang gana. Oh, parang bad trip. Oh. Eh, di naman, di mo naman kasalanan na walang tao. Let's say it was just stormy, it was ano, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Simply, Gary, you read in my song, na, uh, title niya, We've Won. And there's this line there that's similar to the motto that you have. Even if we just light one soul, we've won. Yes. So, parang gano'n. Yes. Yeah, sinasabi rin yan na... Kasi in this world, tulungan dapat. Oh, bro. Tulungan. Tulungan. Cornerstone. Ito. Ito. Tulungan. <laughs> ito. 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 After nun, ng series na yun, kinabahan ka siya, tapos pumatok. Kabadong kabado. Kasi, dude, ano yan eh. Walang, walang senior artist. That show is prime time. It's a gamble. Uh, it's a gamble that this is bad. We're done. <laughs> like, honestly. I mean, it's not, we're not done. But like, you know what I mean? Eh? It's, it'll be, I know. But luckily, it's great. It's uh, pick up. It's pick up. It's not going to happen. But yeah, it's really going click, which I'm so thankful for. Because it, it, as a collective, that cast, we're all, we all gave it our best. We all gave it um, our all. Alam, alam, alam dam ko yun eh. Kahit, um, you can say na kailangan pa namin ng workshops. Gets, because it's our first. We take it as criticism, but at the same time, we appreciate the fact that for our first time, the people liked it. Yeah. So, it, it made me happy and it, it made me thankful. Lang yeah. that, that, that Afterwards, show. after that show, um, I'm sure you had a lot of offers na rin. Hindi rin eh. Ganun din siya eh. Parang hindi ko pa alam ko anong next. Okay. I, I mean, last year, I didn't really know what was next. Until, um, I did auditions, auditions, and then I got one, yung next was Sparkle You. That just finished airing recently. Yeah. Uh, Sparkle You with Zeth. With uh, me. So, second show ko lang yun. Sparkle You. 
And uh, same setting din siya. It was a bunch of friends. Uh, bunch friends of, naman, yeah. High school yeah. friends. Teen, teen youth-oriented show siya. So first ulit ng GMA after a long time. So that was your second project. In terms of the timeline, project, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, kasi after that naman, pero nauna lang kasi umeri abot kamay. Okay. Late na kasi yung Sparkly. Pero taping nauna na yung Sparkly. So yun yung second, technically second project ko. How was that uh, experience? Iba naman eh. Iba na naman yung tao. And it was yung talking. Iba na yung character ko. Um, so this was a test for me if I, I can really act. <laughs> Because when there's a character, na, that's how you know If you can be a good actor, I guess. I mean, really, it's like, kung kaya mo lang is yung ganon, yung Owen, or uh-huh. everything. And you can't act. I mean, like, you can do that, but that's all. You're limited. So, my director, si Derek Barry ulit, hindi niya pinaka-stretch yung character ko, pero medyo, ano na, from good boy to bad boy. Yeah. So, let's just twist it up a bit. Let's make you more ma-inis yung tao sa'yo. Mm. And na-inis ba yung tao sa'yo? You would say. Feeling ko, pero hindi kasi siya inis na inis eh. Um, ano lang siya, yung parang, alam mo yung pa-cute in it. Ah, yan. Yeah, yung medyo, nanggigigil ka na. Oh. Yan, mga ganun. So, um, uh, uh, hopefully, it's <laughs> a feedback ng people. So, so you didn't have a hard time bringing out that certain character? I did, I did. You had a- And then like, Barry would always tell me, sabi ko, masyado ka kasing good boy, Michael. Sabi niya ganun. Oh. Pag good boy yung atake mo lagi. Oh. Kasi hindi talaga sanay. Hindi mo sanay na, you know. So, paano mo siya... Really configure. Um, ano lang. I really just watched films, films, and then I'd always practice a workshop. Na oh, because it's a fully bad boy, pero may pagka so ano film natin? Yung... Um, ano din what that time? Crazy, crazy beautiful you, ba yun? <laughs> Classic yun. Or no, can't help, can't help falling. Ah, yeah, yung character ni Daniel don. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, medyo. Parang may may inis ka ng ko. Oh, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. eh, si Derek Barry director ni for that movie? Okay. Eh. Sabi niya, it's a good choice. Analin mo yun. But make it you. Yes. And then afterwards yun, nalabas mo naman. Yeah, but obviously feeling ko I can do better. And don't we all, man? Yeah, and don't yeah. we all. But happy naman. Oh, just a performance. Yeah. Mukhang magkakasisong do pa ata eh. Sana, sana. <laughs> see you, see you. <laughs> So ito, uh, that was just all this year. Tama ba? Mm. From airing to okay. now. That's this year. This year lang. Parang bilis ng pace ng buhay mo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Even, yeah. Even, even my handler says ngayon na... Uh, ang weird. Like, uh, ang galing ng career. Ako din talaga. I mean, I'm really thankful. Kasi dude, like, I didn't expect any of it. Yeah. I didn't. I mean, like, ang, ang ano ko lang is just that I want to give it my all every time. I want to try. But I, I have goals in mind. I, one day I want to be a leader, one day I that. Mm. Kaya, siguro I have a, in my head, may, may parang, may gusto ako, but at the same time, no expectations. Kasi, I learned that the hard way here in the industry na parang, if you expect na, if you, minsan kasi, limbawa, you get a role. Oh, you got it na. And biglang may switch. You get a hard role. Role, eh, parang, like, yeah. So I learned that talagang hope for the best but expect for the worst. Oh, that's the, the, my friend told me. Yeah. Uh-huh. I say there will be times na you know, you'll just be like, ah, okay. I'll be bigay mo lahat tas ah, sure ka pero <laughs> hindi pa pala, hindi na pala. So height na na record na, na shoot na. Minsan ni, eh, oh, di ba? Pwede pa nila palitan yung actor. Pwede palitan eh. Yeah. Well, ako na ni wala ako na sa akin na yun pag nagrolling na. Okay. Yeah. At least doon may comply na ka ng pakaya. Oh, yeah. But minsan kasi pag audition, audition, pwede mo, hindi rin sa pwede mo, hindi mo mababas. So, so how, how was the, um, how, how was, how were you invited to, uh, to become a host for Eat Bulaga? Oh, that's my biggest plot twist this year. Okay. Kasi after Love Is and Sparkle You, yung timeline, um, I really didn't have much work. I was standby lang for like in a week, siguro two to three days lang my work. Ano yung work mo na two to three days? Lang? I'd have guesting, um, taping, so walang regular ako um, binagawa. Then binglang to maghandler ko sabi niya, yung nagyari sa sa ito balaga. So ni Michael, get gusto mo mag-guest. Sayo ka lang naman, time mo lang. Sige po. <laughs> Ewan mo kasi kahit ano yung offer sa akin, go lang ako. Kasi again, I know I'm new, I know I'm fresh, right? So, 
I just want to uh, <laughs> touch as many places. Like I want to go try everything. That's my ano para I can really see what I want. So I was like, yes, you got it. Let's do it. Sayo sayo lang pala. Okay. And then I got there. Sayo sayo. And then they asked me, "Ano nako ba mag spills?" Mm. I was like, "Wala naman po. Man show wa dati." Kasi nagano ako yung unang hirit. Yung yung first hosting kasi TV. Wait. We would go remote, so eh, around the NCR. So parang in a sense, the practicing hosting ko TV wise, so my spills. So, so. Sabi ko kopo, kaya naman, kaya naman magano. And then I think that day was my test. Then uh, if kung kaya ko maghost, because there at the time they were still building it. Eh. Nwala pang sure. I mean, they had the file, like the main host, but wala pa yung for the to complete it all. They were still okay. So sabi nila after that day it was done. They called back again the following day, and then I was I kept going for consistent for a week or two. Then wala. They haven't called me for a while. I had Abbott come my date thing. So sabi ko, eh baka ano lang guesting lang. Mm. Then they called again. Then after that. Na, na ano na parang same people na yung nakikita ko kasi before iba-iba yung pinapasok and then parang slowly 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 and then it became official na host ka na this was like, when this was when September Sep- oh, yeah. oh, September era yeah it was like only been five months okay. right so yeah, yeah. the journey for EB then has been so quick kasi right now I'm so happy about EB just because Apart from the great work it all, um, it gave me, the opportunity, the family, because the host I was with them since almost their day one, because I guess it Wednesday eh. they started Monday. So, but I I felt the environment ng umpisa where we started with zero commercials almost. That parang walang yung commercial gap namin one minute promise dude like <laughs> ang tagal ng gaps isang oras na hosting oh. tapos. A commercial break. That was okay. Ready? So I said, "Huh? Don't say commercial break. Yeah, mama, pagganan ka until now. Now we're at forty plus minutes of commercial. It's like, whoa! And and the greatest part is we were a family with it. Eh. We stuck. We were together. Na and sa showbiz, yung struggle ko for the last years. Na parang I don't have friends here, and it's so hard to trust. That's just because <clears throat> you know. I mean, it's given. Oh. Yeah, but. Sabi ko, na miss ko yung, There was a point in this year na sabi ko, I really want to go home to Canada. I really miss my family. I really miss my friends. Yun yung na medyo na sa sad na ako dito kasi parang hello kay Megan. Kasi sa amin, bro, tara, lumas tayo. Diba? Eh ako dito, I didn't go to school here. So wala akong friends outside of the industry. So ang hirap talaga na parang malalungkot tayo ako. Na, uh, tapos yung mga kay- kaibigan ko pa, alam ko hindi ko talagang kaibigan. Kasi iba yung friends. Yeah, iba yung pinagsamahan eh. Mm. Well, I try respect, but na-miss ko lang yun. So sabi ko, Lord, I prayed find friends, dude. I was like, I was like, I just hope I find someone that, that, um, are the right people too. Kasi, yeah, I find people, but minsan it's not good, right? So I was like, Thank you, because I was given EB family. And iba yung age range. I mean, Kuya Pao, your way, oh, iba iba right. So parang ang galing lang na naging nabo. And because of that, I found people then that I can trust, I can be with. So for me, biggest plot twist, because career wise and life. <laughs> oh, like what was EB, which you came from a while ago. Yeah, I need no, yeah. <laughs> You mentioned because you miss your family. Yeah, Shempre, you wanna talk about how um, kasi dito. Gusto namin may humanize yung mga artists sa atin. Kasi kung pagdating ng artista, yung mga tao parang, alam mo yun, hindi na kong ulamat yung mga to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you being uh, away from your family, uh, how's that like? It's tough. It's tough. Um, it's not easy because especially me, I'm a mama's boy. Mm. Sheltered. <laughs> I mean, my parents uh, took good care of me. So, parang being the first kid so my older sister still living with him i i expected my life that we'll be together until i get married then i'll move out but i moved independently eight, 17 right 18 pala sorry so sabi ko this is a apart from going to a different country you're leaving your family that's why may ano kasi here i'm with family but i'm not with my family right, right? so parang yun yung sacrifice ko talaga i mean the end of the day, I'm very one with my family. So, 
namimiss ko yung nights na dinner namin magkasama lagi. So really, but now I eat alone. So it's like, like, ah, I'll be missing my face if I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Kasi yung nga, namimiss ko yung family ko. So it, it's tough. Um, living independently rin. I mean, bills, uh, expenses. I told them though, I told my parents that if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. Yes, I appreciate if you can help me when I'm in need, but I want it to be na ako talaga yung ano. I want to provide for myself. For me, it's not to prove anyone, it's just to prove me. Gusto ko lang maging independent. Gusto ko lang mapakayarin yung struggles in life as much, as early as I can. Kasi gusto, I started working 16 just so that I can para as when you were selling ice cream, right? Ah, uh, ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Your first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's tough, but um, how do you cope with that? What do you do? Do you like FaceTime na lang? Yeah, we call, we call, we call on, uh, we, yeah, we FaceTime every now and then. Always text. I just always text them. Um, but I was supposed to go home last August. Hindi lang natuloy. And then this Christmas, sana matuloy. But uh-huh. we'll see. Depende pag may yeah. or not. <laughs> oh. I think they're coming home next year naman. We're coming home next. My sister came home last, this year din. So, hindi pa kami nabubuo, but uh, at least I get to hang out with them. Yeah. It's a big chain. Yeah. So, anong advice mo sa, kunyari, sa isang 18-year-old, or sick, yeah, 18-year-old, someone also that wants to, to migrate here, tapos uh, live a life of his own or her own. Ano yung advice mo dun sa kanya? Yeah. It's as if I was talking to my 18-year-old. Where they, yes. Yeah. I'd honestly tell myself lang, or I tell the people that want to do kind of what I did. Siguro, it's just, a matter of if your heart's there, your heart's there. If there's a will, there's a way. Yeah. If 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 wala talaga yung passion ko dito, no, hindi ko kayang mag-isa dito, hindi ko kayang yung um culture difference. Hindi ko kakayanin. But just because alam kong for me to get to that goal, I have to go through these sacrifices, these obstacles. Then yes, I'm willing to do it. But you just need to make sure within yourself, you want to do this. Because if you don't, don't even try. Yeah, It's a big risk going there to a different country, sacrificing what I had in Canada. There was so much to factor. For me, it's like starting the zero. We don't have a house here. Mm. We don't have a car here. There's so many things that I, I realized that parang this was all happening in Canada. I'd been living easier. I'd been living comfortably. But here, now that I have to reset, build it up by myself. I mean, hindi man nagano, but without my parents living here, then, cause they had their work. So, sabi ko, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> it's gonna be... Kailangan talaga mentally... Kaya. You know, rin, um, mentally tough. Mentally tough, yeah. I'm not praising myself, but I'm just saying the legang. Just be sure of it. It's just a sure like if you're not sure sa sarili mo, then maybe it's not meant for you, or maybe it's just not the time. Because it couldn't be. Ta- it could be timing then. Uh, you know, like some people could maybe just wait a year and then they'll feel it. So would you say na looking back, when you're proud ka naman sa mga na achieve mo and all these obstacles and challenges that you overcame? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's been, uh, it's been two years. <clears throat> Kaka two years ko lang eh, sa Philippines. November 21 was when, I, or 25 was when I moved here, so. 2021, so, Bil- two years ko lang. Ah, sobrang bilis na mga. Yeah. And but it feels like it's been so old. <laughs> <laughs> Ang galing lang. I mean, at the end of the day, thankful, I always pray. Naalala ko lang yung prayer ko nung umpisa. Sabi, Lord guide me. And I, I feel it. I mean, kasi with faith, you won't see it, but you'll feel it. There will always be times that are like, what happened to this? What to It's because he's there guiding you. I mean, for me, just because I'm religious. So, um, yeah, with everything that's happened so far, I'm just happy. Talaga. Proud. Proud, but at the same time, it's not this. Oh, it's not this. I don't know. It's not far, but... No, I don't have to face it. It's the obstacles in the face. It's like, Bro, there's gonna be more. Like, oh, it's gonna be or even harder. For sure. Like, good for you, na ano mo to, but next, uh, no, all right. Yeah, and I know, naman, uh, um, 
it'll come soon. So, mm-hmm. but, yeah. Stay the course, man. Just yeah. Stay the course. yeah. So, hey, enough the word the dream. <laughs> oh, para sa pangarap yan. Yes. Yeah, natin. Back in Canada, you also play a lot of sports. So, yeah. What sports do you play? You seem like a very active guy. Mainly yeah. because of sports. Um, my main sport is basketball. Okay. But I play volleyball. I also used to play ice hockey, soccer, <coughs> or here football. Rugby I used to play. Um, golf is a new hobby. So go golf ka rin. Mm. I got a golf ka. Ako bro, hindi. Virtual sa Wii. As a Wii. Nintendo Wii. Ano na kasi yung golf hobby? Uh, hindi ko naman. Pero ang sabi pa, ito yung sports mo? Tennis. Lahat ay sports. Is. Gusto ko okay, i-try. Masaya lang ako pag tumatakbo. Uh, like uh, physical activities. So I think, yun nga, sinensyon ko sa kanila kayo na sa Canada or sa ibang bansa, marami talang sports kasi seasonal eh. Mm. Pag winter, ito yung sports, pag summer. True, ganito. That, that's very true. Kasi even frisbee, ultimate, I play ultimate it. Ultimate din. So parang, you know why though? Because basketball, winter sport yan. So once season's done, what do you do? You train, but you can also join the school team for volleyball, you can join for track. I did track. <laughs> you did track. field in track and field, yeah. Okay. Um, Set the toes, season. Season, yeah. Like, but also, sa, sa Canada, ma, or sa ibang bansa, actually, uso yung mga ni, yung mga lesson, mm. yung you put your kids in here. Now it's picking up sa Pilipinas, but sa Canada, that's a thing, na after school, may activity again. Lagi may extracurricular. Yeah, and I like it because it teaches the kids, um, see, with team sports and sports in general, it helps you mentally. Mm-hmm. It gives you that mental strength at a young age. And, uh, the intelligence of working with other people as a team, not being selfish, right? So it, it's good. Even if you're not good at the sport, man, just like playing it is already, yeah. just doing it is good, you know? Oh, yeah. so you're not yeah. active. Ka pa. I'm very curious with the life that you live in Canada. Hmm. Like, kasi, like, did you go to prom and all those stuff? You know, na, I. Hi. Because, <laughs> <laughs> dude, high school was the, the years I was like, Dreaming about. Alam mo yun yung manood ka na movie, meron prom, oh. graduation, yung my car ka na. All in so, the Exactly. High school music na. Yun yung parang benchmark ko na. Ganyan yung life ko dyan. So, grade 9, 10, medyo mahira pa eh kasi freshman. Oh, freshman pa. You know, warming up ka pa lang. Then when I got to my senior grade 11, I was like, masaya na ako. Like, I like this. I was varsity. You were, you know, I was, yeah, I had varsity sports. Um, and then, I got, that's when I got my car, 17. What was your car? Acura ILX. So that's a sedan or a sedan, yeah, sedan siya. Um, and then masaya na yung life ko nani. Eh. Then boom, pandemic. Pandemic hit after my season, uh, no grade eleven. Yeah, sabi ng coach sa akin, Michael next year, train train in the off season because you'll be the coach, na captain of the grade twelve of your grade twelve year. Ah, uh, anong sport? Basketball. Basketball. And then ano ha? Nine, because I only played serious basketball grade nine. I was like horrible <laughs> on the bench the whole time. Uh, and I told myself, I hate this. I'm going to practice. Ano. So I told my mom, Ma, I'm serious. What me and I know. So I did every single like, I did training. The schedule ko was training so maga, six to seven, and then school. And then after school, four to six, basketball. And then the rest, were ano na, homework. Six so, to seven ng umaga? Yeah. Basketball. Basketball. Yeah, like pool, tas basketball. Yeah. Tas sick. Kasi gusto ko talaga mag ano, train for basketball. And then even nung summer, I had, I joined clubs. So parang liga dito, liga ba mm-hmm. Yeah, so parang ganun. Training, training, training. So for me, hindi lang naman sa, for, um, just because of I wanted to be off the bench. No, it's just because I wanted to prove to myself na oh, competitive ka rin eh. Kaya kung, I can be better. Yeah. So I I told myself grade nine, but grade twelve we're gonna be ca- captain. Uh-huh. Na talaga. So sabi ko, oh my god, it's happening. Captain na ako for for grade twelve. The pandemic, but pandemic, boom, wala school, online lahat. I was like, no way. Uh-huh. I was wala rin sa um, That's pro- that's why. Yun nga yung prom. Hindi din kaya. Kasi there was a maximum capacity of fifty. E yung prom kasi yun yung inintay ko kasi I experienced my sister's prom. Kailating namin siya. Kaya sabi ko, ang ganda. Gusto ko experience My date. You know. Hi. Yun yung, yung never ko na-experience. Uh-huh. But, masaya ako na-experience ko siya on set. Oh, oh, oh. Sabi ko, thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh, <meron laughs> experience ko somehow. Yeah. 
So yung time na yun, medyo parang, oh, ito pala yung prom ba? Ah, de- depressed ako noon, bro. Yung time. talaga yung, ano, not depressed, but like, nasad ako. So yun yung hugot ko na parang, grabe, yung basketball season na wala. Eh, mm-hmm. parang at the time na love ko talaga. Oh, uh, sis. Ano, ano yung position mo sa ba? Point guard or shooting? Point guard ka bang live ng point guard ba? <laughs> Sakto sa ano yun, tas team captain ka pa. Yes. Troy Bolton na yung dating. <laughs> May Gabriela ka ba that time? Whoops. <laughs> At that time? <laughs> well, well, actually lang, actually it says, I joke lang, para nun, sharping, fling lang, fling lang, fling lang. Hindi ko na, oh, ata? Well, I joke lang. <laughs> so, so you played a lot of sports there, um, you had a side hustle, the job. Yeah. Um, how would you compare the life here and the life that you were living there mm. at the time? Going back here, yeah. Because you move weaker in dito, eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every two, no. every other year. Yung pano mo siya kino compare when you would uh, share stories to your friends in Canada na parang oh I just visited the Philippines, wait this is my proud dude. Ano ah, sa 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 Korea. Wow. So I'm like, no, guys, promise na ganun sa Manila, ganun sa Pilipinas, ganun ang beach. Proud talaga ako sa Philippines. I mean, it's something that like, I don't know, I love it. Eh. And I always go home every other year with my family. So when I got got back, hindi na culture shock. I mean, I knew how living here was like. It's it's different from uh, Canada, but sabi ko, okay naman, hindi naman na bago, na, nanibago agad ng super. Parang culture shock, but not yung Oh my God, yung oh, alam mo yun, yan. Kasi, overwhelmed, hindi ka na-overwhelmed. Yeah, hindi naman, hindi naman. Kasi parang in a sense, slowly akong nasanay. Yung mold ka rin with yeah. the times you... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yung kwentuhan niyo with them, anong um, sinasaya mo na masarap na dish na itry nila? Oh, they know all the dishes. Bakon ko kasi noon, ano eh, lumpia. Favorite nila. <laughs> Bro, yung dad ko kasi mag- maluto yun. So, ah, yun yung bakon ko. Ubos yung lunch ko. Kasi sila ko makain. Oh, okay. Favorite nila yun. Lumpia na may sauce si Baba ang ginagawa. Adobo, pansit. Sold out yun. Sold out. <laughs> Alam nyo nung at Tupperware ko. Sabi ni Mama, ba't ang laki? Just me. Ubus yan. Oh, man. Pansit, um, barbecue, yung steaks. Iba kasi yung timpla natin eh. Iba. And then, um, kaldereta. Lahat. Sinigang. Oh, Minabawag yung sinigang. Minsan, pero yung ako kasi sabaw eh. Oh, so, oh, oh, so, oh, dry lang. Pero lumpia, yun talaga yung memory ko sa school. Lumpia, sold out lang. Oh. Iba kasi yung, iba yung, ano din natin, timpla sa oh, iba. Bring rule. Ano yung sport na namin miss mong laruin? Kasi dito laging basketball, larang hockey, skating. Actually, just miss skating. Even if without hockey, skating. Kasi yung ice rink dito, medyo, oh, malayo, malayo. Yung space mo, siguro this much. Oh. <laughs> Puno puno sa mo eh. I mean, maganda. I mean, we have a good facilities here. Um, but ano lang talaga. Well, every time I go, it's packed. Oh, right. Because it's for the public. So sabi ko, I miss yung yung mid of free. Yeah, 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 yeah. So w- um, what the uh, scene do you miss the most there in Canada? Do you miss like um? Because when you would do games, oh, if you would ask me. If I were in high school, like if I could go back in high school again, I like the basketball games. Like yeah. Seeing the crowd just yeah. with you. Say ba? hockey? Um, seeing like in sports? Pwedeng sports, sige, sports. School sports, siguro yung basketball games din. Basket- basketball games din. Um, or hockey, kasi iba yung, iba yung environment sa hockey game. Mas rowdy ata sa hockey. Oh, parang nice na puro na ako. Na-miss ko yun. Oh, manun. Kasi yung boyfriend ni ate, hi, a, a hockey player siya. Kaya din ako na, mas na, I got into hockey more. Because when I was young, he would teach me then. So, parang, when we would watch his games, it was intense. Yeah. Talagang, boom, gr- lakas sa board. So, it's it's a fun sport to watch. Even hockey games like sa National Hockey League, we'd watch and it's, Ibang level eh. Tapos ang tatangkad nila kasi may skates, right? Oo. Uh, ang debilis pati. Entertaining uh, siya. Yeah. Cool naman. Sana makanood tayo ng hockey nito. So, yeah, that, that's a scene na gusto ko. Like if my friends go to Canada, I'll take them to a hockey game. Kasi ibang experience. Yeah. I went here though sa practice ng national team ng oh, NPs. I saw it. Oh. Parang ano, parang I wish there was just more people who knew about it. Kasi ang saya talaga. Ang saya panoon. Uh, iba yung 
ibang sport siya. So so with 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 that you moved here. Tapos yung time na yon, anong nami-miss mo the most? Yung nandito ka kasi nami-miss mo yung hockey rink, nami-miss mo yung basketball scene. Um kasi sa Canada iba talaga yung buhay eh. Oo. Siguro nami-miss ko yung yung scenery. Oh. Kasi ay, yung sa bahay namin, malapit kami sa park. So yung her house is here, the, sa park na to. Tapos sana siya inlet. Okay. So parang lake. Ay, ay ganito kayo eh. malapit sa bahay. Yeah. So may trail doon na lagi kami naglalakad, walk the dog, tap, or mag-skateboard ako doon. Lagi tapos fresh kayo yung air. So that's, that's one thing then yung fresh air. Yung fresh air. Yeah, and yung road. Dito wala po yun. Malawak ang road. Dito kasi... Medyo ma... Kaya tayo sa drive nito. Ano, wala ako. Yan yung nami-miss ko sa Canada. That's why I want to go back then. Kasi change of scenery. I mean, I love the, I love the islands. I love the beach. But iba din yung Rocky Mountains. Uh, winter. Yeah. Na-mention mo yung beach. And ano, <laughs> mga islands dito. Um, na-share sa amin na you're very superstitious. Oh, what, what? Yeah. You have a certain island that you don't want to go to or beach that you want to visit. Um... I mean, I I don't know if I wouldn't really want to go, but siguro sa talo, it's it's cool. Jason sabi ni Siki Hor, maganda daw. But kasi nandami mga ano dun eh, mga mga I mean, like mga witchcraft, di ba? That's what they're known for. So <laughs> I believe kasi yeah, ni like yung mga ano ano tanga na uh, hindi 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 yes, yung parang mga spell lang, like yung uh, when they ah uh, ano ba talo dun? So yung ano kaya talo dun? Like, I mean, drinks. They'll put like a spell in it. Oh. Then, parang, it make your stomach upset. The reason why I actually believe in that, because when I went to Palawan recently, you know what tapik is? Yung pag ginaganon ka, kailang mi balik. Especially when you go to the province. I didn't know that. Those are like yung beliefs that I learned then because I was like, huh? May ganon pala because means may bolo. That's what they call it, bolo. So, like, and then they tap you on the shoulder, and it could be a sickness, it could be bad. Oh, so I didn't it, know that. To counter it, you just go pat them back. It's every day go like that. No more no Palawan. Ano po daw Palawan? I got patted here. And I forgot to go like that. I remembered it. I was like, oh. Dude, when I got back home, vomiting for two days. For a day. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sick. Vomit lang. Oh, so I was like, na food poison ba ako or anything? But kung food poison, hindi ganun kalalay. Sabi ko, alam ka toto yung mga bulong. I mean, maybe coincidentally, but yeah. So, Siki Hor is one of the islands I, I don't. Want to go by myself? Siguro kasi I'd go with someone na alam alam yung lugar. But alam ko it's beautiful. I mean, all the islands in the Philippines are nice. So you're very um superstitious guy. So you like doing rituals. Ako kasi <laughs> pag uh, shinare ko sa kanila kanina, um baka may ganito ko rin eh. This is para mas magets mo. When I would have a big day, a big event, let's say a host like for in front of thousands of people, yung mom ko very supportive growing up. Uh, she would cook Spam and eggs and rice. That's your name go to ko every time. Mm. So kung yari alam niya may big hosting gig ako, uh, so mag may message na siya spam egg and rice tomorrow parang gan. So parang yung pre game ritual ko. Hi yeah. basketball palang ako hi three year galero. Meron ka bang ganon? <laughs> As a very superstitious guy. Uh, I like it. Something that I always have to do. Play music in the morning. I mean, it's like routine, but not oh. ritual. Or maybe ritual. Like pre-work ritual. I play music. Before, I used to play um, Walking on Sunshine. I don't know. That song got me like... Sometimes, because I trip ko lang talaga. So, so sabi, play ko talang play. Every morning, oh. your first song. But now, I just play any song. That gets me hype. Yeah, that's it. Music lang. Music lang. Um, if not, I just pray before an event or before... Before show. Every time, say, well, like, we always pray as a... Uh, all the host. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Ilan naman. So interesting, ah. Walking on Sunshine of all the songs. Why that song? That's uh, upbeat. <laughs> I like, think it was one time and I was like, I'm a song. I can't uh, play it. Uh, <laughs> if I like a song, I'll keep playing it. Uh, Until I'm So yeah. Because I was curious. We talked about prom. Yeah. We talked about your career and your passions in life. But we want to know if Michael Singer is dating someone oh. or has dated someone. Or is open to dating someone? <laughs> I mean, yeah, when it comes to love and career, my main <laughs> rule is that with this career, it's like vital. Eh. Yung important siya na you counter in the fact that 
if it will affect your career. Okay. So I agree with this if I date someone, it has to affect my work positively. Meaning that I'm not, I know my priority is straight and it's not like I'm, because I've experienced it now, I choose the girl over the work. I hated mm. that. Because I said, because I opportunities, I say, what if I want that? Oh. Was means <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna try to paint the scenario. So you sinabi mong ganyan, Is it like choosing the girl over? No, ano yun, Parang you chose to bring this girl home instead of a certain project, ganon, or you chose to have dinner versus a certain. I know. Misan yung parang yeah, hang out, hang uh, out, out bef- over of... what, over. Over like, let's say, a meeting. And no, uh, for me, because work didn't convince sleep. Because I need this, the rest. Uh, right? yeah. I, I chose to go out. Yeah, yeah, of, ano. yeah so, so before I date someone, because right now, ano lang naman, I'm just happy. right? So before I, I really get into a serious relationship, because I'm young, I'm not gonna, not gonna control it. I'm not gonna be like, no, I can't. Like, if, it, if you feel it, you feel it. Uh, I mean, it's hard. Yeah, but at the same time, these are the years in your life that I don't want to be like, sayang, hindi ko tinayin. Because at the same time, yeah, career, but like, <laughs> at the end of the day, when you're old, you're not gonna be like, yeah, career, you know, you're gonna be like, sayang. Yeah. So, if I, if, I, if I love, if I fall in love, you know, it's, it's something um, cool to experience, you're yeah. gonna be in. Yeah. So, so you have, or you have? I've dated, I've dated, you've but dated. fun fact about me, I've never had a girlfriend. Yeah, I mean it's uh, very label wise. I say I would. I always. I'm so um, particular when it comes to relationships. I need to make sure lang na talagang we're meant for one another. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's suitable. Because the goal ko is I bring someone home up to my parents. Ma, ma, like, ma, family. No, like I'd be like ma, this is my girlfriend. That mm-hmm. for me is girlfriend ko na, but never pa yun ang yari. So I think even here. I'll take them from here to Canada. I'll <laughs> tell my parents, <laughs> my girlfriend. I'm always, that's my goal. Yun lang talaga gusto. Na, ano. But, hindi naman sa, ayoko mag-girlfriend, ayoko mag, ano, ano lang. I mean, I just don't know. Maybe I just haven't found the right person. Right, right. right. So, chill lang. Whatever, I'm just go with the flow. Go with the flow. But right now, priority ko talaga is work. Ano ba yung inahanap ng isang Michael Singer? Oh my. <laughs> Yan. Yeah, hindi yung girl. Malaman. Um, for me, it's, it's, it's like, it's simple now. I mean, as long as a girl and I vibe well, it's number one, if we vibe, because if you don't, <laughs> what's the point, right? And uh, to uh, kind, kind person, uh, family oriented. I love someone that if I bring with my family, they can also hang out yeah. with the family. I love, I can hang out with theirs. Um, at the same time, religious or God fearing, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I said in my, I remember saying in one of my vlogs, they have this five five or five seven, <laughs> <laughs> and the reasoning why is because I want to breed athletes and models. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying that my whole life. Promise, ever since that, I said I used to have a girlfriend. I said I told my mom, I said, "Ma, five 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 or five seven, to para yung anak namin matanggal. Guarantee na kung ayon yung mag sports." Di magmodel ka. Oh, <laughs> oh, lang. No, but yeah, it's funny lang. But yeah, I like someone taller. So okay. that, um, eh, five five, you know, it doesn't matter. Misa kasi, the stuff that you wish for opposites. At oh, toto yun. So, again, the, when the time comes and you meet that person, misa, it's not what you're looking for, but if your hearts are like vibing, you know, yun lang naman importante. If your personalities are swak, yeah. as they say then. <laughs> Pwede na yun. <laughs> so, kailangan. Ikaw, wait, wait, tanong ako. Oh, sige. Ikaw ba? Anong hinahanap mo sa room? <laughs> oh, meron na akong girl eh. So, oh! Oh, 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 So, yung ideal girl ko siya. So, so cute. Doon na, oh, bakit? Pare, wala, wala tayo. Ano, wala na ako. What's up dito? <laughs> How long na kayo? Um, kaka four years lang na. Wow. Wait lang, bakit ko in-interview? <laughs> Do you see her as your long term na she's the one? Um... Para saan ba itong ginagawa namin kung hindi, di ba? Yan yung mga sagot pa. Yan yung mga pang podcast. Pero may tanong ako ah, kasi oh. curious if we're aware advice sa akin. Kasi parang, paano mo, manaram, paano mo manalaman? You know when they say that, ay yan na yun, she's the one. Oh, yeah. Like I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, yeah. 
I know, young, like 20, <laughs> whatever, early 20s. But how, how does that, how, what do you feel? I'm addicted. I'm curious, how does it feel? I was, how old are you, bro? You're I'm 20. 20. When we met, I was 21 or 20. How old are you now? I'm 24. 24, okay. Uh-huh. So that time, I am a lot with that. <laughs> Story kasi na yan, bro. Courtside reporter ako at the time. Yeah. Sharon courtside reporter. Oh. So same din kami ng work. Oh. So parehas kami, until now, parehas kami na host. Different networks nga lang, different agencies or management. Mm-hmm. Pero same ba rin. Um, how did I know if she was the one? Um, siguro, at the time, we were just talking all the time. And then, parang, we didn't plan it. Tapos like, just fell. We both just fell for each other. Parang yung connection na yan, oh, hindi unplanned siya eh. Tapos parang it's like, I was dating my best friend. Parang gano'n. Ikilagami ko kayo? Buto tuno ka dito sa akin, Jasmine eh. Ayana. Oh, shout out! Grabe na, parang nabaliktan yung buwan, Jasmine ko eh. Speed up naman sa... Pwede ba natin tapusin ano? Okay, wait, ito last. Para sa mga nag-aabang dyan, nakababaihan na hoping na makadate ang isang Michael Singer. What is your... Sige, labas mo na yan, pare. What is my... What is your ideal date? If you were to bring someone out, what type of um, environment or where? Ha, huh. siguro kasi yung ideal date ko, dapat siya lang makakalam eh. Uy! So, I'll take her to a wow. place that is special. To okay. Her. Yeah. So, special to her. <laughs> uh, and special to her. Uh, that will be special to the both of us. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, it's so a future. So, kanya, ito na, last na. <laughs> Kung may message ka <laughs> sa future girlfriend mo ngayon, <laughs> kung sino man siya at oh. kung nasaan man siya sa mundo ngayon anong okay. sabihin mo sa kanya hello to my future girlfriend you know wherever you are ang gusto ko lang sabihin is that if I say you're the one I mean we're gonna grow old together wow <laughs> <laughs> grabe na yan <laughs> we're gonna grow old together <laughs> ang pwede turo sa Canada <laughs> okay Michael Seeger your 2024 goals Okay, next year, my goal is um, just to try more things, try more things, travel the world more. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to go to places and siguro, um, mm. I want to try a character na medyo malayo talaga sa akin. Yung like med- horror? Yeah, like something like that. Like, like, or yung medyo in heavy drum. Di alam ko na, action. I, kasi recently sa taping, I've been doing action scenes. I was really into it. Yung, yung kahit na sasaktan, ang saya nung makita yung a final out. Parang yung ba yun? Sasaktan nung sis. So yeah, siguro next year, I want to try something more action talaga. Okay. Siguro it's either I do training, like basketball. Ah, basketball. Boxing. Oh. Mixed martial arts, yeah. For so much. Parang may certain preparation na uh, yeah. I'm going for it. So, it's really MMA ka na certified. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so with that, in a in a world or in a generation of manifesting, yeah. and our podcast being in the stone, itataga ako sa bato, blank. What's yours? I don't think it's English, itataga. Uh, that you'll write in stone? Oh, exactly. Oh, parang, um... Uh, what would you manifest? What would you manifest? Ah, uh, si- ano yung sentence? Ikong... Ita- itataga ko sa bato. Itataga ko sa bato na, na I will always give it my all. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Michael Sager, The House. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ikaw na yung mag-host dito next time. <laughs> Valentine's, Valentine's edition about his love life. Oh, di ba? Pero, How to reach four years. Pero <laughs> that time, kasama rin dito yung, ano, yung future girl. <laughs> na, Why? Kasi nag-message ka na, baka narinig na rin yan. Hindi natin alam, malay mo. For a friend. <laughs> oh, for a friend mo na. <laughs> Okay, so if you're going to promote anything, if you have any upcoming shows or projects, yes. by all means. Guys, uh, thank you again, uh, Bailey, and uh, for Corner Soul for having me in, in the Stone Podcast. You can follow me on Instagram, Michael Sager underscore, on TikTok as well, Michael Sager underscore, and on Facebook, Michael Sager lang puyan. On YouTube, kung gusto niyo mga vlogs ko, Michael Sager rin puyan. And of course, manun po tayo ng tahanang pinakamasaya, it bulaga. 
Noon time yan, 12 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Monday to Friday and 11.30 to 2.30 on Saturdays. Manood po kayo ng All Out Sundays every Sunday on GMA 12 noon. And manood po tayo ng Sparkle University. Manood din po tayo ng Shining in Air. Tensa na malapit na po next year, 2024. Abangan niyo po yan. Kasama ko po dyan si Kate Valdez. Kylie Alcantara, Miss Connie Reyes, and many more talented actors. So it's a great um, story that I'm excited for you guys to watch. Thank you. Damn, the gaming projects. Sa kaya bigan natin. Yeah, man, gusto natin. Dere dere siya yung trabaho. Okay, so thank you so much um, for Mike for the In the Stone podcast team. My name is Bailey Safot. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the next one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Down, down, down.